Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Scene Investigators, the second day. Where today we're going to be investigating some cases that are going to be hard. Um, I believe we are doing, we did a missing case. And I think now we're doing a, 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 I think a murder case. And if it's anything like before, I am so screwed. But that's all right, because we have chat. So chat's awesome. And chat's amazing, right? Of course. Of course. They pick up on things that I don't. So Officer Kans is here on duty. Welcome back indeed. I think it was, right? The fourth floor. Maybe it's not a murder case. I don't know what this is. It's just the fourth floor. Is that a crime? Missing is a crime. Bloodbath could be a crime. The fourth floor? Who knows? Maybe they, it's a crime that, I got no joke. It's too early in the morning for me. Welcome everybody. Hello. Um, just as a four, I know we were supposed to play I Am Your Judge today, but the update for I Am Your Judge has not been released yet. I hope it's released by the time uh, a few hours come through, but I, I, I don't, I, I kind of doubt it. So yeah, that's up in the air. Anyways. Um, welcome back everybody. I'm going to also be expecting a important phone call today So if I have to just take a minute and mute myself for a half a second and a half or two minutes uh, Just know that I will be expecting an important phone call just so uh, if there's a little bit of interruption Welcome everybody. Hello. Yeah gaming. Hello spork. Hello T. Hello waffle. Hello Susie team. Welcome. Welcome How's everybody doing? Is everybody having a good Monday? Hello. Hello be golly bonnie hello bonnie welcome hello amanda melissa suko and melissa denmark welcome in both of you hello roxanne yes 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 hello jammy socks as well ruth hello ruth anna maria how are you welcome in ainworth hello welcome in hello hello yes 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 the lad how's it going one minute go ago season two update are you actually kidding me <laughs> Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Well, if that's the case, good news, because then we'll play it after this one. Gylik, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome in, Shantae. Stephen Crawford, welcome in, welcome in. Doing good, even though it is snowing right now. Yeah, I've seen some people posted in the Discord that it's snowing where they're at. Um, Kind of crazy, right? I mean, I, I, not, not crazy. I guess, at least in my terms, it's crazy. It doesn't snow until February where I live. That's when we get snow. So, like, in October, I guess it's kind of crazy. Like, oh... You guys have snow already that's kind of crazy but you know what i mean we all have different uh weathers here and there and all around and whatnot hello maya how are you but yeah snowfall doesn't happen in some places and whatnot right <laughs> oh very good i oh, hope everyone's doing well hello cowgirl good to see you welcome in welcome back yeah um the fourth floor the, the goal, now look at this, I sit here with 1 out of 2 correct on the tutorial, and I sit here on 12 out of 12 correct on the, on this, um, yeah, very well. <laughs> Hello, Erica, how are you? I came to say hi instead of watching a VOD, well, how are you, Erica? Welcome in, good to see you. Yes, good to see you indeed. Um, yeah, so the fourth floor should be interesting, we'll kind of dive into this, we'll learn more about this, uh, let's click on it, this is, I guess, oh yeah, right. There was the uh, apartment 401 break-in, apartment 402 dinner party, apartment 403 the celebration. Interesting. So I wonder, because the last case that we did, it had to, it was like connected and intertwined through like a couple of decades, right? This one looks like as if it's just like the neighbors and the neighbors and the neighbors. You know? What, well, yeah, we're gonna start at the top. But like, it looks like the neighbors, the neighbors, and the neighbors. I wonder if it will be like consecutive. I don't know. Who knows? Hello, Masumi. How are you? Welcome in too, as well. Yeah, happy Monday to everybody. I know it's Monday. Um, starting off the week and whatnot. Tomorrow's Halloween. F. Break in. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Hello, Shay. How are you, Shay? Hello, Alex. Welcome in, Alex. Loading complete. Loading complete. Good luck. Good luck. I am going to need it. New York, July 16th of 2004. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, are we ready for that? Let's do it. Sorry, I'm just, I'm expecting this all and whatnot. So 2004, July something, already effing up. So we have an apartment here with a break in. It's like very quiet here. Ooh, it's kind of creepy actually. Very creepy. Hello, Christopher. Welcome in, Christopher. Can I knock on everybody else's door? 
No? So, okay, all these will be eventually used. Right. Okay. All right, all right. All right, here we go. We're in the apartment. The break-in. All right. So, first thing I see is July 2004-ish. We have someone named Sarah. And it's their birthday on the 22nd. I feel like we, we know that there is possibly a child present. So, there's that. Uh, there's the Serene Jewelry and Loans. I, I, you know, right now, who knows? This is for a Brenda Sherman, maybe? A diamond wedding ring for $2,500? <sighs> Let's see. Yeah. $2,004, $2,500. That must be a damn well ring. Good only for 30 days. Deposit not refundable. All sales final. Okay, actually, you know what we should do first? We should probably think about looking at our questions. Let's look at our questions first and foremost. Who broke into the apartment? We got to figure out who broke into the apartment. Who was present during the break-in? Who was killed? Who was the killer? Wait a sec. Oh, God. Somebody's dead. Okay. Right. That's pretty intense. So, who broke into the apartment? Who was present during the break-in who was killed and who was the killer very well feed the milk what feed the milk wait a sec what feed the milk at 3 p.m how do i do that give second bottle at 7 30 p.m oh feed the milk maybe okay reminder that milk is in the fridge carry the baby monitor at all times i will be home around 8 p.m okay i will be home around 8 p.m oh lord have mercy uh, July 15th of 2004 looks like some sort of diary or maybe or something of a cookbook recipe possibly or both um, other than drinking a bit more than usual nothing noteworthy for today she pooped once and went to sleep after I sang her a lullaby she is super cute when she sleeps when clinging to her blankie all right so a little bit of diary for the for the baby 250 fed her food portion milk diaper change went to sleep banana porridge oatmeal rice uh the next day sarah was not as fussy today so the baby's name is sarah she drank the same amount as usual however she hasn't pooped yet very well um can we write that down in our in our notes baby sarah baby sarah all right look at me being an actual investigator this time it's wonderful hello christopher how's it going Hope they didn't kill the dog this time. I know, right? That was terrible. Hello, Chloe. How are you, Chloe? Welcome in. Okay. Um. Pfft. Nothing I can interact with here. Very well. All right. Um. Oh. 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 Okay. That's a weird looking. Maybe not. <laughs> it looks kind of weird looking, but. Anyways. Uh, let's see here. Um, this is 2004, right? Oh, yeah, 2004. So things look a little bit different. Well, not that different, but depending on who you ask, what the heck is this? All right. I mean, there's boxes on the TV, man. What the heck is that? What are these boxes on the back of the TV? It's part of the TV. Okay. What do we have here? A Snickers? A, a little bit bitten off Snickers? Very well. Baby monitor. Baby monitor, indeed. Okay. Very well. I'm not going in there yet. I'm not even dancing with the devil yet. Hello, Sakshi. How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. All right. Checking every every little tiny inch. What is this? Oh, wait. Sarah. Sarah's birthday on the 22nd. Okay. So it was the baby's birthday on the... Wait a sec. The baby's birthday on the 22nd. Very good. Uh, Camp Sunshine. Oh, crap. Greta. Who the hell is Greta? Camp Sunshine. Informed con uh, consent and liability release. Greta. Insurance company. Yellow Cross. Parent and guardian. Brenda Sherman. So the mom is named Brenda. Emergency contact. Lori. Relationship to camper. Mother's assistant or mother's sister. And the aunt. So her sister is Lori Sherman. So let's write some of this stuff down. Uh, I'm trying to be more organized than last time. Brenda. 
Brenda's got a baby. Yo, Tupac. Uh, Brenda... Um... Is mom. Lori... Is mom sister? Slash auntie. Auntie. Good. Look at me be organized. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud of me? Hello, candy la lady. How are you? Welcome in. Yes, yes, yes. I have never seen snow in my life until now. What? The heck? Um, agreement. This uh, form acknowledges that the camper is, is in perfect health and has no health issues. This waiver also exempts Camp Sunshine from any liability from injuries and accidents caused in the property of Wood Creek. I have read and understood the camp rules supplied with this release. I will ensure my child is aware of and will comply with these rules. I have answered the question on this form accurately and completely. Signed, Greta Sherman. That's the name of the camper. Greta Sherman. Lori Sherman. Brenda Sherman. Who is Greta? Who is Greta? Is this another child? Yeah? Greta. Greta. Okay. We gotta watch out for the Greta. Is the music a little too loud? I need to turn it down. Is it too scary for y'all? That's so weird. I haven't even touched the... Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Music, go down. Are you guys scared? There we go. We'll do that. I think it's because of the voice acting in this game. So, so low. Wait, what is plugged in? Oh, the lamp. Hello, Christine. How are you? Welcome in. Okay. So, Greta. Who is Greta? Okay, there's footsteps, obviously. Somebody came through the window, it looks like. Oh, wait. Don't I have a flashlight? I do. It's a weak-ass flashlight. A baby monitor was in this room at the time. I gotta still figure out Greta. Hello, Kitty Rice. How are you? <clears throat> I think it's just kind of yeah. Okay, very well. That's a big. That's a big pacifier, dude. That is a big pacifier. <laughs> oh, diary. Ah, very well. The juicy diary, June seventeenth of two thousand four. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. This is a child and another child. Yeah. So this must be Greta. She must be the sister then. Yeah, okay. Um, go on. With your bad self. I did really well in all my tests. I studied really hard. I still have two more tests to go, but I wanted to show mommy and daddy. Maybe they will become happy if they see how smart I am. But mommy was angry and said daddy wasn't coming home anymore. Did daddy get a timeout? I miss daddy. Sometimes I smell his favorite bottle just to remind him, remind myself what he used to smell like. Mommy got upset when she saw that bottle. She made me throw it away. I secretly kept one. This child is incredibly, like, smart. <laughs> incredibly smart. Uh, mommy is so busy. I don't really like having babysitters. If only daddy and mommy could make up. Uh, but it is too late. Mommy and daddy are liars. They told me I always need to make up with my friends when we fight. They told me to forgive Sarah whenever she takes and breaks my stuff. But they don't make up. Even though they aren't together anymore, I still hear them fighting over the phone sometimes. Mommy says she is going to keep daddy away from us. Daddy says that he is going to rescue us from mommy. Why can't they just stay together? It's almost kind of like, uh, oh my god, the child has developed a... Uh, developed a... Um, a, a, hello, Leandra. Kind of like, uh, oh, you, parents are hypocrites. <laughs> In a loose way, of course. But yeah, you, you, they start to like catch on. Children catch on. They're like sponges, dude. Scout nurse. Scout nears. Camp Sunshine. Yeah, very well. Okay, so June, or sorry, July 14th to July 21st. So that yellow mark out on the calendar is them at Camp Sunshine, supposedly. Very well. Good job. Okay. Yeah, somebody came in through the window, obviously. It came in through the window. It could, it's, I, maybe dad, dad did this. This is a dad thing. Wait, there's a safe in here? What? What? Okay. Why? What is the need of this? Why do you put a safe in here with ammo and guns and in the child's room? Who did this? Why is this a thing? What, what's the, what, what? What's the reason to this? Why? Certificate? Holy hell. 
this is a birth certificate. My God. Sarah. Last name Peterson. Sarah Peterson. Oh, this is the phone call I was expecting. Hang on a sec. Give me a moment. You can read over this. Uh, hang on. Did mom have another somebody involved? Possibly. Wait a sec. This birth, single, twin, etc. Oh, it's single. If multiple child. Okay. So this was a Sarah Peterson, a different someone, right? Different, different dad, different possibility here. Uh, father of child, Clyde Peterson. Well, actually, we don't, well, we don't know if, you know, if it's a different, we don't know who the first, uh, we don't know who the first one is, right? First father. This is all going to be a mess, isn't it? Um, I certified that I have renewed the stated information, right? Relationship signature is to the child's mother. Uh, certification of birth. I certified that the child was born alive at the age and hour and place stated by the doctor. Uh, local register, right? Okay. Right. Okay. So we have a birth certificate for Sarah Peterson. Looks like we have another birth certificate for a Greta Peterson. Okay. So there you go. Um, these, I guess you could say they are, they are father of the child is Clyde Peterson. Unless maybe he finds out that they're not really his children. I don't know. This is going to get messy, isn't it? Um, yeah. 1996 is child's date is that what it is child's date 1996 born 1996 so that would make the child about eight years old yeah about eight or eight years old since Lori and brenda share a last name the father's name could be peterson that's true yeah they could be um they could just be uh you know they're not married or anything right correct uh, yes. Why keep the ammo and the guns in the, in all this, in the, in the child's room? I don't understand that part of it, but sure. Whatever, dude. Still don't understand it. So obviously somebody broke in, grabbed, opened the safe, dropped their wallet. Unless they have the safe code in here. New York public library, Metro pass. What is this? Oh. 608 high crest suites oh 860 806 6880 or 608 oh my god okay, so they tried a bunch of different uh addresses trying to find the right address this one's so bright i cannot see uh smokes six pack very well thank you for your business yeah 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 yeah. okay got it uh does it say who this is addressed to signature 
It doesn't. Who carries a li public library card in there? All right, very well. Okay, all right. So we're understanding a bit. What is this? Oh, this is the bottle the child was talking about. Very well. Is it an alcoholic beverage? I think it is. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put the camera away, sir. Greta Sherman got a scored an A. She's very good at uh, at uh, at school. She's very smart. You shall not pass. You will not pass. <laughs> very well. Oh, the times. Times are simple back then. Now were they? <gasps> oh, is that her and Dan? It'll be her and Dad. Probably is her and Dad, right? Brenda has Clyde's last name on Greta's birth certificate, but her maiden name on Sarah's. Oh, is that right? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we'll pull up Sarah's one more time. Mother of child. Brenda Sherman. True. Brenda Sherman. Okay, they, she she has both last names for both children. Where else would you keep your library card? Um, I don't own one, but probably nowhere. <laughs> you you don't go to the library where I live. If you go to the library, it's a good chance you're gonna get into some serious trouble. Let's just say that. Um. Okay, so obviously this is where the uh, the the crime happened, the murder happened. Very well. Uh, somebody ransacked this, obviously. Uh, murdered this person. But why and how? Very well. Looks like a shell casing. So, gun. Took the gun from the safe, then murdered. Yep. Oh wait, there's the bullet right there. Okay, so the bullet went into the wall. Very well. Wait a sec. There are two different casings. Hang on a sec. Nine millimeter. Luger. Nine millimeter. Wilder. Nine millimeter. Same caliber, but different, uh, different shells. Oh, God. What is this? Temporary restraining order. Oh, right. Name of the protected person. So, Brenda Peterson. So, now she, um,. <laughs> Now she, uh, now she does have the last name, so she must have had the children. Wait, no, sorry, maiden name. That's right, sorry, maiden name. And then, so dad has a restraining order. No, yes, 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 dad has a restraining order. She has a restraining order on dad. That's what it is. Um, yeah. Additional protected people as well as Greta. But not Sarah? When was this filed? February 17th, 2004? When was Sarah's birthday? When was she born? 2003. Okay. Did I miss it then? Did she have a restraining order but without Sarah? Name of restrained person, additional protected persons. Greta? Just Greta. How come Sarah wasn't involved in this? I I guess maybe? Relationship to protected person, ex-husband. Oh, there you go. This order expires at the date and time of the hearing below. February 3rd of 2005. Fires. Can you imagine? Okay. Very well. So we can kind of like guess, right? Kind of have an idea of who murdered who and who was murdered. Maybe, possibly. Contacts here with the plumber, James Gunther. Wake up, poop, pee, nap, throw up. Very well. Actually, get, take me back there. Reminder, by formula, all that good stuff. Hey, Tupperware. Make appointments with Doc for Sarah's vaccinations. Buy Greta more paint. Sign Greta's forms. Okay, emails. Inbox. Oh, shite. Here we go. Uh, let's go in order of date. So, maybe Lori? Hey. Uh, you did all you could. There was nothing more you could have done. Personally, I'm glad it's all over. I don't care if he stays in jail or not. 
It can rot in there for all I care. I feel like you need time to heal and move on. If you need to talk or need help with the kids, you know how to reach me. Macy? Hi, Mrs. Peterson. Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you this month as I'll be out of town for most of July. However, I do have a friend who I think would be a perfect perfect for the job. She has a good track record and I can personally vouch for her. Her number is dun 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 dun. Uh, NYB support? NYMB support. We received your request to change your address and name. We have processed to change uh, the change to your address, 608. Uh, obviously, the updated address will show on your next bank statement. However, in order to properly have your name changed, we will have to ask you to stop by a local branch. Ever get your name changed? It is the absolute worst thing. It is so hard to just get your name changed. There is so much you have to go through. Hi, Brenda. Unfortunately, your schedule changed slightly. With the care center being un understaffed at the moment, we'll have to ask you come. We'll have to ask you come on Wednesday and Thursday. The hours will still remain your standard hours, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Very well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh crap! Enter desired phone number and press OK. Oh, I guess I can't. Wait, can I do that? Call log. Bunch of people. No voicemail. I like the voicemails, though. I'm a voicemail kind of guy. Okay, there's a necklace on the ground. There's a there's jewelry on the ground. Can't really say that they were in here... Stealing stuff if they left this kind of important stuff behind, right? They weren't looking for money, maybe? They weren't looking for... Obviously, they left cash in the, in the safe. So they weren't looking for money. They weren't looking for jewelry. They weren't looking for any of that. Yeah. There was, was unlikely to be out with without an adult of some sort. Yeah, this is interesting. So obviously the person that came in was was looking for something else. Which we probably can suspect who it is, but still. They were doing something else in here. Is that all we have? Is that all we have? Is that all the evidence here? Um, so let's look at here. Who broke into the apartment? Obviously, wait, what's the guy's name? <laughs> I think it has to be Clyde. Clyde broke into the uh, apartment. Clyde? Who was present during the break-in? I'm assuming Brenda? Who was killed? Brenda? Who, who is the killer? Clyde. Does this look good to anybody? Does this seem like, like legit? Are we good here? Where's Bonnie? True. Brendan, the baby, and Clyde were present. Wait, what? Brenda and the baby and Clyde were present. Who was present during the break-in? I guess, yeah. Can we add more? Brenda. Clyde. Dara? Hey, subscriber! Thanks for subscribing, Darren, as well. Did I do that? It has to be the dad. Did I submit? Bonnie is right here and what did you... Bonnie is right here. What did you need? Oh. Different body. Bonnie. <laughs> you may need their full names. Okay. The killer is Brenda? You think she did it in self-defense? Ooh. How do you... How do you get that from all this information? He broke in and she shot him. Ooh. That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a that, yeah, 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 yeah. I could see it. She could do it in self-defense. Two gun shells. Two different gun shells, kind of, right? He has a restraining order? Wait a sec. What? He has a restraining order? Time out. Where are we finding this information? Are we just pulling this out of the out of the out of the sky here? She has the restraining order. She has it on him. Sorry, that's probably what you mean. What about the nanny? I don't see any motive for the nanny. Can't go in there. Is there anything else out here that I might be missing? 
I doubt it. It's a big ass remote. <clears throat> I. It's hard. It's very, very hard because it's like, I guess if you look at it this way, he comes in, she shoots, or she comes this way, she shoots. The bullet hole is right there. That's what doesn't make any sense. I'm going to be honest with you. How does the bullet hole? I guess there's two shots. Maybe. Oh, he got shot in the hip. Boom. And then sh shot in the head when he was down, I guess. I don't know, dude. She's a, she's a savage. Let's do it. Let's submit. Let's see if we got him all right. We are actually great detectives. Four out of four. There you go. Passed it. Which case model would you like to tackle? Next, we got to go to room or apartment 402 where there is a dinner party. All right. Scenario. Now, I don't know if these are going to be connected. I, I, it doesn't seem like they're going to be connected. But who knows? April 24th of 2002. So two years before the break-in. Back in New York. I, I have a feeling... Brenda, are you in there? I have a feeling these are not going to be connected what the hell all right here we go okay what is this item medicine bottle why do i have the medicine bottle the police have found this bottle at the scene of the crime and it is confirmed that the cause of death was the contents of this bottle Spazix. warning severe liver damage may occur if you take this more than 4,000 milligrams of spazix in 24 hours with other drugs containing spazix with alcohol. Do not take more than 7,000 milligrams at any given time. Erectional dysfunction. If that happens, please contact your doctor. Stop use and ask a doctor if pain gets worse or lasts more than 10 days. New symptoms occur. Internal bleeding occurs. May cause vomiting. May cause internal bleeding and may cause dizziness. Hello, Sarah Parsons. How are you? Hello, Floatery B. How are you? All right. Before we do anything, check it. How many people live in this apartment? Who is Jessica's cousin? Who sat in chair number four? Who was killed? Who is the killer? Oh my God. Why are people just dying on this floor? <laughs> this is a terrible floor. <sighs> All right, here we go. Hello, Kelsey's. How are you? So Ronnie Grayson, apparently this is addressed to a Ronnie Grayson. Um, at 608 apartment, does it say apartment 402? Yeah, okay, apartment 402. Okay. We're here, we care very well. Okay, so a Ronnie Grayson lives here. To some degree. Somebody's wallet. There's Ronnie himself, Ronnie Grayson. Very well. Okay, New York State identification card. Don't need a driver's license living in New York most of the time, right? Box of Da Vinci wine and box of chocolate. You spent $45.99 on a box of wine. Very well. Celine's Kitchen. Uh, you had valet parking. $15 plus no tip. You'll do that in cash. That was on Valentine's Day. To be, uh, to be exact. Valentine's Day of 2002. When was this purchased? Does it have a date? On April 24th. Okay. RYT Hospital Abortion Clinic. Dr. Terry Charleston. Okay, I can see where this is going now. Very well. <clears throat> right. ATM and check card. Ronnie Grayson. All right. Ronnie Grayson. Lewis Hampton, attorney at law. Very well. Okay. So I can kind of already sniff out a possible motive here, as you could probably expect. Hello, Ash. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, Captain. What's going on, Captain? Mm -mm, this looks like the demo. Good thing it's not. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. Beef stew. Very well. Beef stew recipe. Don't really need everything else from that, but that's a beef stew recipe if you need one. It's just something to click on, I guess. There's some wine. Uh, right. Holiday cards. Good. Write down his credit card info and go to Amazon. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I know. Oh, God. Food that's been out for a while. Not good. This is the Da Vinci wine. I thought that said wine box, but maybe it said wine bottle. Somebody died here. Um, does it look like gunshot? Looks like maybe they passed out and hit their head somewhere on the table or on the ground, maybe. There's no gun shells. Um, 
kind of going about what are the questions i'll go over them again how many people live in this apartment who is jessica's cousin who sat in chair four who was killed and who is the akila killa killa so cha chair four wait a sec is this chair four over here that's five. Oh, this is four okay wait a sec what is this three okay that's three this is four got it okay Just kind of taking a look here see who's who napkin everybody have clean plates impressed impressed oh there's lipstick on this one dude there's lipstick on this glass which probably tells me this is the one that was poisoned so somebody wearing lipstick sat here at number three right right very well let me kind of scoot scooch a booch over here happy birthday to you very well happy birthday to you Happy birthday, Jessica. Thank you for all the support while I was in AA. Ronnie is a lucky man to have you. I hope you have a great year, Victor. Thanks, Victor. Chocolates. Happy birthday. To the most beautiful woman in the world. Does it say who it's from? So she got chocolates. Ronnie, type your password. The account is currently locked out and may not be logged on to. Okay. That's a little bit sad. A letter to Jessica Grayson. So Ronnie Grayson, Jessica Grayson are the two. It looks like. Dear Jessica, it's been a month since you came to visit me. Remember what we talked about? I think it's time. But it's time you ended things with him. Oh, God. You've endured for too long and need to move on, mom. Oh, God. Oh, dicey, dicey, dicey. Hello, Zaris. How are you? Welcome in. Wait, the, the... Was this scenario in the demo? Is that what it was? Was this scenario in the demo? Da, 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 da. Hello, Anthony. How are you? Welcome in. Okay. Oh, lights. This is all we know. Okay, well, um, very well. I know it's kind of vague as far as information goes, but I think I kind of understand what's going on here. Um, CBA, Ronnie leaves for New Orleans. Ronnie's return from the company trip. Jessica's birthday. Appointment with Dr. Richardson. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, purse. There we go. Examine. Uh, Nico Patch. Stop smoking. Really? You're lighting your cigarettes with that? Okay. All right. Very well. Okay. So we can, we, we kind of have an idea here. It's, it's, it's like, so let's look here. How many people live in this apartment? Honestly, I think two people do. Who is Jessica's cousin? Oh no, who sat in chair four? Honestly, I think it was Jessica that sat in chair four. Who was the killer? I think it was Ronnie. Who all right, who was killed? Jessica was killed. Who is the killer? Ronnie. Oh, Victor's the cousin. Victor. What do you think about that? How about that? This all has to do. This all has to do because of an abortion. That's what it has to do. I think she might have possibly had an abortion and he got mad and he killed her. I think that's what happened. I don't know if Victor lives there though. That's the only thing. There's no evidence showing Victor lives there. I think this is it. Yeah. You don't think it was Ronnie? Who the hell do you think it is? You don't think it's Ronnie? Oh, hello. Happy birthday, daughter. You think it was mom? No. What the frick? No, there's no way it's mom. There was five people here when this happened. Five people here. Can I talk with them? Can we have a conversation? If that doesn't tell you anything, 
about abortion and whatnot, then I mean, that's a yeah, that's a <laughs> right. Not going to get into it. Oh, there we go. Guests, uh, Victor, James and Carol. Reminder, my cousin cannot drink anything with alcohol. Serve him something else instead. James is left handed. Wow. Wow. James is the one that died. Wait a sec. <laughs> okay, Victor, James, and Carol. So there was five people. Wait, no. It said it said how many people live. Sorry. Okay. This says everything. My cousin cannot drink anything with alcohol. Serve him something else instead. James is left handed. At the left handed setting. Honestly, everything looks like it's left handed. This is left handed. This is the only left handed I'm seeing. Number five. Everything else looks. Wait, no. This is left handed, I guess, right? Two. Oh, wait, no. One. Somebody can't drink alcohol. So there's a coffee mug. Okay. I don't know why this is. I don't think this is relevant, right? My cousin cannot drink. Okay, so Victor was here. Victor was here. James could have been here. James could have been here. Ronnie here. Jessica here. Huh? Five is left handed has it been used. True. Five is left handed hasn't been used. We know where Victor's at. Carol. Who the hell is Carol? Carol sat here at number two. Ronnie sat here at number four. James sat here at number five. Victor sat here at number one. Jessica sat here at number three. James was a no-show. Well, that's rude. I made all this dinner for him. Okay, I, I still I don't know what this, this this evidence that we're really dissecting here really I don't I don't see any relevancy here. I'll be honest with you. Um, call log? No. And this is tough, man. Trash, fork, why? Any cupboards? Anything that I could touch? No. Only one person drank the red wine. There's a bunch of co the, would you consider that red wine or no? I mean, that one I would maybe this one. No, maybe that one. I can't tell. And we know a female had to at least drink this because it's lipsticks, lipsticks, lipstick. So how many people live in the apartment? Honestly, I think it's two. Who is Jessica's cousin? We know it's Victor, right? Who sat in chair number four? Not Jessica. Ronnie. Ronnie? It's either Ronnie or Carol that sat in number four. Who was killed? Jessica. Who is the killer? I think it's Ronnie. You think whoever sat at number two is the killer? Do so you think the killer sat at number two? Interesting. It does. It looks like somebody got up quickly to like get there, right? Well, let's run it. Let's run it. Here we go. Four out of five. Oh yeah, check the pill bottle. So we got four out of five correct. There's one that we do not have correct. One, just one. With the sauce on the plate, is Victor the only one that ate the food? A good question. <clears throat> the fork is used by left hand. Is that right? It is. No, not that one. Yeah, wait a sec. Would you consider this a left-handed? No, this one would be left-handed. 
which is Victor. Where the hell's James? James is right here at number four, right? Left handed. Maybe Car Carol sat at number two. That's what I think. I think Carol sat at number two. So out of the four here, let's look at the medicine bottle one more time. Does this have anything? Severe liver damage may occur. Do not take more than seven milligrams. Ask the doctor. It really just says don't take it with like alcohol. Okay. Um. Out of all these questions, which one do you think we got right, wrong? I think we got where Ronnie sat wrong. That's probably the question we got wrong. Ronnie probably sat at number two. So Carol maybe sat at number four. Is that how you spell her name? Carol. I think that's what it is. What do you think about that? Carol is the killer? Who the hell is Carol? And why the hell is she the killer? Is she working with Ronnie? Was she trying to kill Ronnie? Maybe she was trying to kill Ronnie and accidentally killed uh, Jessica. My God. Hello, Summer Sunshine. Hello, Maggie. Ronnie sat at number four. Carol is the killer. She poisoned the wine and didn't drink it because they were having an affair. What the frick? How do you get this information from what we've read today? Am I missing something? How? It... What are you on about? Am I missing like a, a, a note? Check the wallet again. Harry. Lewis. Celine. You could see that. Maybe she was pregnant and that is why he had the abortion clinic card in his wallet. No, she definitely was. That's why I thought I thought that was the motive, dude. You think Carol wasn't pregnant? Oh, shit. Wait a sec. So is Carol the one dead? Maybe Carol's dead. Oh, no, wait. No, we got four out of those things, right? Wait a sec. Hang on. Time out. Wait a sec. We had four out of five, correct? Carol's the killer. Jessica was killed. Ronnie sat in chair number four. Maybe the purse is Carol's. Is this correct? You think? Ronnie sat in number four and Carol's the killer. That's true. A pregnant person isn't meant to drink. That's true. That's true. Why would she be drinking anyways if she was pregnant? Five out of five. I don't know how the hell you've came to that conclusion. But here we are. How do you get that information from the, the evidence that we saw? Celebration. What in the hell? I think Carol was her mom. That's a good shout. You think Carol was the mom? June 1st, 2003. Wait a sec. So Carol killed her daughter? What the hell is happening? Oh God, this looks like a frat nightmare. Or at least, you know, not a frat party. Well, you know what I mean. College and, 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 and. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Documents show interview a suspect, 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 interview a suspect. So there's six potential suspects in this case questions is who died who was the second last to arrive who is the owner of the blue sports bag and who is hey, the subscriber killer and who just scared me lightning amethyst strike thank you for resubscribing i appreciate that thank you wasn't there a birthday card from mom 
Um. Possibly. There was, wasn't there? There was a birthday. Yes, there was. Now, I wonder if it said Carol on it. I don't remember. I can't remember. Oh, my God. Okay, so new case. Um, Obviously, there was some sort of party. Uh, They're out here. They were playing some... I'm going to be honest with you. In 2000... Uh, what is this? 2000... What is this? 2003? They didn't have these controllers back then. Sorry to bust your nuttle on that. Um, and they definitely didn't hook up to a PlayStation 1. <laughs> Those controllers did not... I'm being kind of a D here, but, you know. Dragons of Tavern? Honor of Duty, too? Very well. Okay, so let's start from right... Let's go right to left here. Let's go right to left. Okay, you have a foosball table that doesn't even fit in your house. Check the bag. Wait, do we have a light? There we go. Perfect. What the hell is this? Grease on the elbow? Mouthing off today? Hey, I know we're becoming better friends than we have been. I just feel like I owe you owe it to myself to get this out. Christy, I do have feelings for you, and I'm really nervous to tell you this. And by this, I'm not asking you to return these feelings, nor am I asking you to be anything more than you have been than you have been to. Oh, God. Is this going to be like some sort of like weird, like, like jealousy killing kind of thing? Possibly. Oh, I fell in love with my best friend's girl. Shit, I got to kill him. Um, what the heck? Okay, looks like we have some uh, inhaler. Possible, yeah, some EpiPen maybe. Somebody might have some allergies along with some other things going on. Nobles 2003 Summer School, Mr. and Mrs. Carter. Mr. and Mrs. Carter, welcome to the Nobles 2003 Summer School. Your student schedule for the Nobles Public High School Summer Academic Program can be found in your MPS Portal account. They had, they had portals back in 2003. The schedule includes the course number, name, and teacher assignment. Uh, once students have picked up their summer school package and submitted their summer pass from with school security, they will be ready to start. This program offers students the option of earning credits and beginning the school year in line to graduate with their class. Enclosed are a summer school course list and a registration from slash student contract that should be read and signed by the student and parent guardian. Summer school starts... Okay, so obviously somebody had summer school. Starts on Tuesday, June 3rd, and ends after classes on Friday, August 1st. Any student who plans to attend must be present from the first day. The registration, student contract from and, from and a check for the full tuition of $225 per course are due on, on or before the first class. These courses will be offered only if enrollment is sufficient. Please note that your student's summer school grade does not replace any failing grade earned during the regular school year. The summer school course allows your student to earn credit to meet specific graduation requirements. Please review the general information. All right, very well. Nobody signed this, right? <laughs> are these high school students are drinking? Wait a second, are these high school students? Wait, who is, what is happening here? High schoolers maybe hanging out with college goers? I mean, they're drinking, but they have their own apartment at the same time. What do you mean, Nobles High School? The Wolf Pack? You guys are in high school and have your own apartment? What the hell? In New York City in 2003? What is this world? What are you talking about? So we know Andrew was here. We know Eric was here. What is going on? You guys are high school students? Wait a sec. What, what was the date on that? 2003. Okay. All right. Who's dead? I guess we'll figure that out here soon. Auto caps. You guys just order pizza and beer, man. Pizza and beer. Pizza and beer. Pizza and beer. Girls only. No trespassing. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. <clears throat> oh. How to survive on your own? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How to survive on your own? Cool, dude. 
Okay, somebody. Okay, somebody's dead in there. Bathroom. Wow, nobody's dead in there. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's start with the bathroom. Okay, bathroom done. All right, let's start with the room where somebody was murked at. Very well. Looks like a guy's room of some sort. Looks like they were really into some hardcore rock, possibly. Um, lamb and sheep. Possibly some little bit of satanic rituals going on in here. No. <laughs> Kill feels? Never mind. Um, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Start one, two, three. All right. What, what, what do we have here? School District of Queens. The School District of Queens Nobles Public High School. Why is this high school? Notice of suspension on May 28th of 2003. Number of days undetermined. Any student found in the building while on suspension is subject to arrest and prosecution for trespassing. Description of situation. On May 26th, 2003, a student reported that Brian Olson had sexually assaulted her. These are serious allegations, so the school contacted law enforcement and investigation will be conducted. We ask that all parties involved keep the, keep this to themselves until the investigation has concluded the parents of both parties have been notified. Notice to parent and guardian, a conference has been scheduled for the purpose of reinstatement and or recommendation of the student for further disciplinary action on May 30th. Very well. The student must return to school with a parent slash guardian listed on the school computer network. If this is not convenient, the parent should call the school at da 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 Very well. So, I guess this might be Brian. Potentially. Potentially this could be Brian. And he was suspended. Again, I, I don't understand how these high school students are having their own place like this. Did anybody else do this? I didn't. Anybody in high school had their own freaking apartment? Okay, sorry, sir. Knight of Rock application form. Group and band, dead ironclad killers. Band member contact, Brian. So Brian is the uh, head honcho. Band members name ages of Brian, 18, Eric, 18, Andrew, 18, Jack, 17. Yeah, these guys are like kids, man. And they're in their own freaking apartment in New York. This is insane. They're in Queens, right? My God. List all instruments and equipment you will be bringing. You must include with your application. $35 deposit. So we know that Brian, Eric, Andrew, Jack were part of the band. This is probably Brian. Eric was here during the incident because he has a cup out there. And I think Andrew. Is that who it was? Andrew? A Andrew was out here too. And Jack. Okay, so all three of them were here. And Brian. And Grace. <laughs> Grace did it, didn't she? Grace did it. And Lisa. Lisa, Grace. What the heck? Okay. All right, very well. No, I'm not blaming Grace. Brian has a history of sexually assaulting girls. He's the one in trouble here. This is a bullet shell. Coming out of... Uh, Nine millimeter caliber. All right. Okay. Open up. Group chat, private chat. Oh, crap. Wait, they had group chat? I guess. Yeah, I am messenger, huh? Hello, Android Gaming. How's it going? Hello, Carol. How are you? I might make who the hell is Carol my ringtone. Hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's see this group chat. Grad party group chat. As all, as you all know, a few of us are going to be graduating. We're going to have a hey, grad subscriber. Thank you, Robert, for subscribing. We're going to have a grad party at our place 7 p.m. on Saturday. Let's go. I'm bringing drinks, yo, says Jester. Whoever Jester is. There's Vader217, Jester578, and Gam Gamer, Gamer Boy. Gamer Boy. Oh, my God. Why can't we all just go... All to the arc. Why can't we all just go to the arcade? Striker says arcade. Really? I don't understand how you enjoy that boring place. And what? Chugging a whole bottle of Cordia Light is fun for you? I think the arcade is fine, says Gracie. Uh, Vader says chill, guys. I already made the preparation preparations. I just want us to enjoy our last time as high schoolers together. You guys are living on your own. I don't understand this. Kitty lover. This must be Lisa. 
Someone needs to watch over Eric. Make sure he doesn't drink so much. Striker says, party pooper. Kitty lover says, you barfed all over the couch, you boozer. Took me a week to get... Oh, I got to write this down. Okay, wait a sec. Striker is Eric. I believe Kitty lover is Lisa. Gracie is Grace. Okay, okay. Jeez, I'll be more careful next time. Vader, great. We'll see each other this coming Saturday. Then... If you have questions or concerns, message in this group. Striker or Eric says, hey, what time are we gathering again? Uh, Jester says, scroll up, you idiot. He already mentioned the time. All right, Dick. Dead Ironclad Killers. Hey, guys, we need to practice this week. Can we meet up this Tuesday? Sorry, no can do. I have a track meet on Tuesday. I have a race coming up real soon. I can't do it Tuesday either. I agreed to help my dad at his store. Seems like the most of us can't make it. Let's reschedule. What about Thursday? Thursday's fine with me. I'm good for Thursday. Same here. Cool. What is happening, dude? Hello, Amanda. How are you? And catching up on old streams and got uh, got no place like home and loving it so much. Love your streams. I have found so many games I never knew. I would like to thank to you. Oh, very well, Amanda. Good to see you. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Absolutely. Absolutely. Private chat. Jester. Dude, you can't just bail. I'm really sorry. Something came up. We can't practice without a drummer, and you're the only one who knows how to play the drums. Do you know how important the gig is? Okay, whoever Jester is owns the blue bag, right? Because there's drumsticks in the blue bag outside. Gracie, I faxed you something. Did you get it? Hey, babe, what am I looking at? This just came in today. Keep this between us, please. I don't want anyone else to know. Is this true? Of course not. You think I'd be sharing this if it was true? I bet you a million it was Christy. Oh, shit. I was thinking the same. Can you talk to her? I swear I'm going to kill her next time I see her. Oh, God. <laughs> Calm down. I don't make don't make this worse than it is. Just talk to her. Only she can make this go away. Fine. Okay, now this is getting mess messy. So, Vader is Brian, which means Jester is Andrew. Or gamer boy F. Um, Grace is in a relationship with Brian. Brian is accused of sexually assaulting another girl, potentially be Christy. This is incredible, dude. This is incredible. This is a mess. This is absolutely a mess. Write it all down. You're right. Let me get to this first. Can you come over to my place this Saturday? I want to go over base arrangement for the new song. I'll come over after five. That's cool. I'll be at my dad's store then too. That reminds me. Do you think your dad will be willing to be a sponsor for our next gig? I can ask. Sweet. Let me know what he says. Okay. Let me write this down. Okay. We're going new title, please. What did I even say? Vader is Brian. Jester is Blue Bag. But we don't know who Jester is. Gracie is Grace. Lisa. Or Christy. Or Christy is... Kitty? Lover? Uh, who was Eric? Eric was... Who, who was Eric? Frick me. I gotta remember Eric. Eric was Jester? Okay, let me make see here. Let me see here. Group chat. Grad party. Someone needs to watch over Eric. Make sure he doesn't. Party pooper. You barfed all over. Striker. Striker was Eric. Okay, Striker. Holy crap, dude. Striker is Eric. Um... Uh, gamer boy? Question mark. I think gamer boy? Question mark and Jester. Question mark. Jester has the blue bag though. It's either Andrew or the other guy's name. Was it? It's either Andrew. Or Jack. Jack. Jack the Jester. I don't know. I'm throwing stuff out there. Jack or, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
Jack or Jack the Jester. Okay. Let's look at more messages. Uh, Jester. You can't just bail. All right. Very well. Wait. Jester is... Wait, we, we talked about... Wait a sec. Hang on a sec. Who's the owner? Okay, we're still trying to figure that out. All right, all right. All right. We might get more information in the uh, the girl's room. Whoever the girl is. I don't know who the girl is. So there's one girl and one guy that live here in separate rooms. So you can't be Brian and his girlfriend, right? Because that would be weird. Right? No, I mean, for married couple, married couples is different. We're talking like teenage hormonal children here who apparently have their own apartment in, in New York. Last day of school. All right, that tells us nothing. All right. 2000 summer championship, summer. Okay, winter. Okay. Check you. Group chat. Racket scientists. What? Hey guys, even though school is over, do you guys still want to meet up at rack and practice in the summer? Lord Killer, who the frick is that? <laughs> I'm fine with meeting up, but my family and I are going to be out of town around the end of July. Anybody else? Who the frick is Lord Killer? The backpack is hers? I mean, she, there was a racket in that. There was a racket in the, the blue bag, but there was also drumsticks in there, too. Brad party. Um, This is the same way. The same group chat, I think. Party pooper. Jester. Okay. Dane. Cassandra. Lillian. Who the frick are these people? Since Christy is graduating this year, we'll need a new captain. I think you'd be a good fit. What do you think? I was hoping you'd be up for the task. Let's talk about this tomorrow at school. I gotta go soon. KK. Talk to you later. Hey, have you heard from Christy? She hasn't been to school in a few days and she's not picking up. You haven't heard? Casey told me... Oh God, there's so many people. Casey told me that she was sexually assaulted by someone. WTF. Please tell me they caught this mother effer. Easy there, cowboy. It's just a rumor and the school hasn't said anything yet. Hopefully it's nothing. Sandra, I don't know if you heard it, but word is going around that Christy was sexually assaulted by someone at school. She hasn't been to school in a few days. What? You better not be joking. What's the school doing about it? They haven't issued any statement. Hopefully it's nothing. Do you know who she is? She's such a drama queen. You're lucky you have your brother. What's that supposed to mean? He's a big guy. Even guys are intimidated by him. The perfect creep deterrent. Is Brian her brother? Is this brother and sister living together? Holy shit. So Brian sexually assaulted Christy. Um, yes. At least that's what the... At least that's what it is. So... Who's Kitty Lover? L Lisa. Right? Lisa. So Lisa and Brian are siblings? Potentially? Lillian. Guess who I saw trying to walk home with Christy today? You're definitely overreacting. Girl, I am telling you. He's 100% into Christy. I bet you that she, uh, that's the only reason he joined the tennis club. If it is, thank God he did. He's one of our best players. He's going to have a tough time getting through her brothers. I know all of them. They're pretty all nice guys. Oh my God. I am so lost in the sauce right now. Uh, Brian. Let's see. Brian and Lisa. Siblings? Siblings? Question mark. Wow. And maybe Christy. Christy. Christy is the sister of band members. Potentially. I know all their brother. I know all her brothers. Maybe. Oh my God. Jester was pinning for Christy. I beg your pardon. Don't I have documents to review? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's true. I do have interviews and stuff like that. You're right. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, we got a bunch of interviews we could look at, too. So, Holmes and Mystery. Ironic. Snickers. She's a Snicker and Sprite. Is she a Snicker and Sprite kind of gal? 
plenties. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we have, um... They like to do the tennis. I guess we have some uh, documents to read over. So, interview of suspect one. Aw, oh, shite. Uh, this is Christy. So, hello, Miss Carter. Can you please answer my question, huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. What was the question again? Uh, did you go to see Brian on the 31st of May? No. Do you have any physical contact with him at all during this week? No. When was the last time you met or spoke with Brian? Maybe a week and a half ago. Are you aware that Mr. O'Brien Olson is dead? What? Are you serious? He was killed last night in his apartment. Where were you on the night of 31st of May? I was at home. Okay, this is Jack. So, you're also in the band, officer says. Yes, I play bass. I also play guitar, but I usually end up playing the bass. So how would you describe your relationship with Brian? Brian? Honestly, he's more of Eric's friend than mine. Eric and I have known each other since elementary and have been tight since. Eric introduced me to Brian in high school and we started playing together. Can you go over your accounts of the incident? I was working for most of the day. I eventually left and headed to Brian's place. I bumped into Grace at the lobby and we both went up together. What time did you arrive? 6.45. Do you recall seeing anyone right before entering the apartment? No, I mean, other than the guy at the front desk, all of us had something to drink, so some things might be unclear. I do remember Grace was being pretty obnoxious the whole night. After I finished my drink, I left the apartment. Why did you leave? As I mentioned to the other officer, Brian was smoking heavily, and I can't stand the smell of it. Where did you go? I went back home. Was anybody with you at the time? Anybody who could corroborate, corroborate your, with your story? No, not even the man at the front desk. Look, this is getting annoying. I didn't do anything wrong. You got nothing on me. Just let me go. Okay, suspect, Jack. Christy is lying? How do we have, <clears throat> how do we know Christy is lying? Jack is suspect. He has no alibi, right? Unless he lives on his own too. Does he have a parent? Lisa. Yes, I am one of the tenants of the apartment. Okay, so she's... Obviously, this is her room. How close are you with your brother? It's her brother. Close enough. I mean, we don't talk about deep things or anything. He mostly keeps to himself. Are you aware of the allegation towards him? Huh? What allegations? Okay, let's change the topic. Uh, out of all the attendees, has any of them show any violent behaviors or tendencies? Violent? Not really. Well, actually, Andrew has been suspended a few times for getting into fights. And recall the last time he got into a fight. Last week, actually, he and this other guy were fighting over a girl. Gasp. Wait, you guys don't actually think he did it, right? Do you usually lock the door for your room? Yes, I like to keep my room private. Brian sometimes has friends over, so I lock it anytime I have to head out. But you said you lost your key. I was coming back from a friend's house, and I must have accidentally left it there. What time did you leave your friend's house? Around 6.30 p.m. So how did you get into the apartment? Well, it was already open. Most of them were already inside. Brian must have let them in. What time did you arrive? Around 7. Do you keep a spare key? Yes, we keep spare keys in the kitchen wall, but it was missing. Someone must have taken it. Can you recall exactly when you noticed the spare key was missing? I checked as soon as I came back, but it was already gone. So how did you get into your room? Brian used his key set to let me in. Do you often have parents at your apartment or parties at your apartment? Yes, mostly for special occasions, but sometimes just to hang out on the weekend. Is there often alcohol involved? Yes, pause. Andrew usually buys the drinks for us. Could you repeat what you, what you told us? I was asleep, I woke up, it was dark, I went to the restroom, and that's when I saw, I saw him lying there in his room, I didn't know what to do, start crying. And then what happened? I panicked and screamed, moments later, Andrew came running by, gave me a panic, gave me a panic attack, Andrew came running by, gave me a panic attack. Do you have any suspicion as to who is the murderer could be? I don't know, I don't understand this, how this could happen. We are really good friends. Okay, she said something up here. Andrew has been suspended a few times because of fights. Now, we read a note about suspension, right? So, we could probably match Andrew with the... Hang on. Was it here? I know we're becoming better friends than we have been. I just feel like... Christy, I do have feelings for you. And I'm really nervous. Okay, whose backpack is this? Okay, that's... I, I think that's irrelevant, right? I thought this was the suspension. I thought we read something about suspension. 
Maybe we didn't. We read summer school. We read summer school. I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, okay. I thought we did. In Brian's room? Oh, is it this thing? Okay, I thought it was the sus suspension for fighting. I thought we found that, but maybe not. Knight of Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Back to the back to the thing. Thank you, Higgy. That was Lisa. Andrew now. Andrew, can you please can you please account when you and the others arrived at the apartment? Well, I arrived at the apartment around the same time as Lisa and everybody was already there. So I don't know when the others arrived. What happened after? I don't know, man. I thought you have all the answers. It's after midnight. I'm tired as hell. I gotta go soon. What happened after? I was in the toilet puking for quite a bit, and then I woke up. I woke up, Eric. And where was Jack during this time? I don't know. None of us saw him for the rest of the night. You were the one who brought the drinks to the party, correct? Yes. You're not old enough to drink. How did you purchase them? Did you contaminate the drinks in any capacity? What? Of course I didn't contaminate the drinks. You know the underage drinking of purchase or purchase of alcohol is a misdemeanor, right? Really? That's all you got? I thought you guys were trying to solve a murder. Get serious. This is a complete waste of time. None of my friends did what you're suggesting. Interesting. Grace, can you elaborate more on your relationship with Brian? Okay, so Brian and Grace were together. I already told you, he and I have been dating for about a year and things were going well. Can you please tell me more of your accounts on that evening? Look, Christy is 100% guilty here. That lying bitch has been trying to get in between Brian and I ever since we got together. You can't stomach that he chose me and not her. I'm telling you, that girl is batshit psycho. Please calm down, Miss Burns. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me to calm down that girl should be behind bars please just answer the question fine i arrived at the apartment same time as jack we got out of the elevator just in time to see christy leave the apartment and run off why the hell was she even there does she not even miss burns please focus are you sure you saw miss carter leave the apartment oh 100 sure she's the only girl in this world that has dyed green hair and braids her hair like that please continue after Andrew came with the drinks, we all started to play a drinking game. This went on for most of the night, and I eventually knocked out. Can you recall if anybody passed out before you did? I'm sorry, I can't. I completely blacked out. I guess I must have drank a bit too much because the cops already arrived by the time I woke up. Holy crap, dude. Hello, Charlotte. How are you? Who was the letter addressed to? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a good uh, Good question. Good question, indeed. I'll, th I'll look over these uh, letters again. <clears throat> can you please account this is eric can you please account with with others of the pri yeah yeah the apartment i know i was the fourth to arrive brian grace and jack were already there i must have missed something because grace's attitude was off the entire time maybe grace and not brian had a fight i have no idea i was super glad when lisa arrived she was she always livens the mood i think andrew was the last to come he's always late for everything okay Question number one, or question number the, who showed up? Who was the second last to arrive? Lisa. Who died? Brian, right? Back to it. Um, were you drinking that night? We all were. Grace usually drinks doesn't usually drink that much but that night she was chugging as if there was no tomorrow anything to note of that night i'm not sure how drunk i was i but i do remember jack and brian were arguing for a bit things got pretty heated but brian eventually got up and locked himself in his room you were the one who called 911 correct yeah it was it says here on the report that you discovered the body and called law enforcement after 2 hours why did it take you so long for you to call law enforcement because andrew was completely against it and why was he against calling the authorities? Something about underage drinking and him getting in trouble uh, than the rest of us, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, look, I know he's a little dumb at times, but trust me, he didn't do this. Error, Mike stopped working. F, what part of I don't remember much of much do you not understand? Please calm down. We just want to clarify de certain details. Please tell us again. <clears throat> like I said, I was drinking heavily that night. I must have passed out because the next moment I remember was Andrew waking me up, pouring water on my face. Lisa tells me that you had a pretty big argument with Brian last week. Want to tell me what that was about? Seriously, you guys are reaching. 
He was on my case about interrupting rehearsals with my mistakes. I've been busy recently, so I haven't had much time to practice. But come on, there's no way I'll kill him over something like that. I have my pride as a musician. I was going to show up with him with my performance. Okay, Eric has Eric has to be the rehearsal. He's the blue bag guy. Blue bag guy. He has the blue bag. That's Eric, right? Has to be Eric. Drummer, rehearsing. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Hello, Ninja. How are you? Now we got to figure out who died and who is the killer. Who's this addressed to? Notice the suspension. Brian. This doesn't say who it was addressed to, does it? It do not be doing that. It does not have an address letter. Okay. This is Brian. This is 100% Brian. And then Brian. No, sorry. This is Eric. Eric had a thing for Christy. Don't know if it's relevant or not. Eric had a thing for Christy. Mr. and Mrs. Carter. <gasps> oh, baby. You're right. Who was Carter again? Was it Lisa? Or Grace? It was... Oh, it's Christy. Wait a sec. Christy Carter. No? Christy was here. Wasn't she? No, wait. Miss Carter. It's one of these people. No, this isn't Christy. Oh, wait. Christy. Hello, Miss Carter. Christy Carter! Why is Christy's bag... Is this Christy's bag? That's Christy's bag? So that makes Jack's surname Carter. So Jack and Christy are siblings. Jack is the one that killed. Who died? Brian. Who's the killer? Jack. That's Jack's bag. Oh, that's good. Jack is the one that murked him, dude. Final answer. I was so confident. Which case Don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, break me. Andrew has the blue sports bag? Not Eric? Good luck. Okay. That's going to be it. So we'll just switch Eric and Andrew, I guess. Andrew. God, that was such a freaking... That was such a... You aced this case that was line. something else. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. That was a hell of a... That was so many names. I think I got a headache from that. If you were granted the power to pardon one of the... Prepare... Uh, pre pre what the frick? Perpetrators? Perpetrators? Who would you choose? If I were granted power to pardon one of these people? Oh, obviously the first one. Uh -oh. Which case model would you like to tackle? I guess bloodbath. Yeah. Now the thing about bloodbath, there's nothing. It's just one thing. It's just one scenario. Loading complete. Good luck. Bloodbath. Kohler, September 25th in 1998. Holy hell. What is in the package by the exit? Was the gun the killer using standard issue? Who died by the office doorway? Who was the dirty cop? How many people were murdered? Was Harry Baker in a reasonable state of mind, yes or no? Which prisoner was in interrogation room number one? Oh my god. This is a police station. Looks like a police station, maybe, possibly, or an office or something. What in the world is that? Is that a person? Why does that look like a bunny to me? It looks like a bunny. Maybe somebody somebody's huddled in the fetal position. Got it. Okay. 
This is the police department. General department notice. We've had a number of recent complaints about drinking occurring throughout the offices. What? With the current influx of these complaints, we will address the our stance here. Do not drink during work hours. Drinking is an adequate manner to alleviate the stresses felt doing this job. We understand this and we will refuse any manners of taking that away from you. However, during work hours, we ask that you remain sober. Drinking inside the office is perfectly okay during lunch hours or off time. Anyone is caught drinking during hours, they will have a strike on their record. If one's work is determined to have taken a dip in productivity and we discover that consumption of alcohol is caused, a strike will be placed on their record. Wait, you're telling me it's okay to drink inside the office during lunch hours? What the hell are you talking about? Town dinner, dis, uh, so, town dinner celebration. Polar just hit 23,000. We're almost 25,000 for our town's population. Dunn County is now nearing 800,000. You're invited to a small dinner celebration. Very well. Okay. Hey, Grant. How's it going? Welcome in. Hope you are well. Good to see ya. Workplace shooting? Possibly. Today's morning and noon shift. Might be useful. Wanted. General department notice. Keep your issue or keep your issued sidearm on you at all times. Please do not leave it behind for someone else to mess with. You will share the blame. Please keep other standard issued equipment in your locker or vehicle. We don't expect you to carry your rifle or shotgun on you 24-7. Obviously. Obviously. Holy crap. Wow. Hey, Amber 91. Look at that massive massive dump of a freaking gifted membership 20 gifted memberships by amber that was very very kind of you very kind of you 20 memberships handed out 20 people picking up their membership i love that that is very very kind of you appreciate you that was very very sweet very very sweet thank you very very much thank you very much amber that was very sweet of you very sweet big ups to you and on behalf of those 20 people, we say thank you very much. That was very kind of you. The fact that I have to say this is disheartening, but given that Jim had neither side, neither side arm nor primary on him at the time of the Main Street shootout two weeks ago means the self-preservation must be recommended and enforced. Had Harry not been there, we would have lost a good man. Please supply yourself as your job requires. Okay. <clears throat> Finally able to catch a live stream. This game is so intense. It is intense. I agree. I absolutely agree. It is. It's pretty good. It's pretty well done. I, I, I would have to expect to, or I would have to say too. Road incident case on 1998. Reporting regarding the morning accident on MacArthur Road in Main Street. Detective Nakamura and I witnessed two young kids dealing some unidentified baggies by the gas station. Confiscated three bags of powder. Both suspect one and two were assumed to have been underage from the, just their appearance. We caught uh, we caught up the suspect one, but suspect two ran. I pursued while N Nakamura of suspect one. Suspect two ran for a white van at the end of a nearby parking lot. Suspect three, the older Caucasian male, was inside the van. When he saw me chasing the kid, he turned the vehicle off and proceeded to raise his arms into the air. Suspect 2 pulled a pistol at this point while running. I fired three shots, but at the time, he turned to face me. Two bullets lodged themselves in his throat, and one got his right hand. I don't believe at this time of the initial report that he was able to fire a shot, but I'm unsure and awaiting further evidence. I have requested Suspect's 2 firearm to be examined for gunpowder residue. And suspect 2's hand to be examined as well. General officers eventually arrived on scene alongside EMS. Suspect 2 bled out before EMS no, EMS was unable to stabilize him. Suspect 1 and 3 were escorted to the country station by officers. I received a question from another officer on the scene, and I want to answer it here in writing. Nakamura, a uh, method of detaining suspect 1, main seemed to have been brutal, and I cannot say that I personally saw the arrest, but the suspect in general was uncooperative. Bruises and are such may or may not have already been on the suspect prior to our encounter. I am unsure, and I'd rather simply say that just because Nakamura, Nakamura's aggressiveness has been noted in the past, that it may not have been the cause for the wounds for this particular case. Suspect one will be questioned by us 
early tomorrow. Suspect 3 will be questioned in 3 days. If I am pulled from this case due to the incident, I request that Detective Snyder or Bolts be given oversight of the downtown operations. Nakamura has been overly hasty on the previous two cases, showing questionable judgment, and though I trust him, I'd rather a more senior officer replace him. So, potential motive here. Inspection reconfirms tip. Uh, impossible timing. Get back on records with county. Okay. Only direct evidence sub for now. Oh, shit. August 12th. I've tried to send the package now from three different places, but they keep voiding this stuff. I even tried to just pay for the guy to look at the other way and cannot send it. We rounded up a few of the downtown kids tonight. They were taking pot shots with their BB guns. Darren told me to cool down again. They shot out my rear, uh, rear view mirror. Still can't send the package out. At this point, Kyle will never get it. I hope he can understand. I've tried real hard this time to get things in order. I had to shoot a guy tonight. I'm going to the bar or maybe I'll just roll about downtown and stare at the lights. I'm sorry. I had to shoot someone again twice this week. I'm sorry. It was it was a teen this time. Chief woke me up at my desk this morning. He asked me a day or two ago if he should be worried. I told him I was running okay. I don't like office duty. There'll probably be another uh it'll be probably another month of this. I need help. I need to get out of here. All I do is now drink and write papers. There's nothing here. I still haven't talked to Kyle. And I'm stuck here doing these damn uh, goddamn papers. And now I can only listen to Darren complain about these things. Chief told me I cannot drink anymore in the office. It's affecting me. It's bullshit. It's the only thing that can help me right now. I'm going to go crazy. I've been really testy again. I need to go to the bar, but I cannot do it right now. I need to be clean. Even if only for just an, another few days. I don't want it to end like this, like it did last time. The only good thing is now I can do what I want. My flight leaves tomorrow evening. I ain't staying around here. I need to meet with him face to face. My God. Very, very troubling. Troubling times indeed. Call her back next week. Google says call back tomorrow. Ask in if he can take a call. Google says no records on history. Plane leaves tomorrow. Get plane ticket. Miss jo Miss Jose still won't talk. Send flowers. My God. What is going on here? <sighs> Hello, Allison. How are you? Hope you are well as well. A6 paper signed verify. Judge R has given clear. Get more pit floppies. Okay. Gil was murdered here. But his body was found in... Gurdant? Fun city. Maybe buy bigger object and sneak it in inside that. See if Jim and Postal can get package to slip in. I think there's so much going on here. A mom isn't talking. Oh my god, there's so much going on here. Okay. Dismantled gun. He's in the clear ACC to tip. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. 500 WAS uh, revolver taken from here. Looks like another gun was taken from here as well. 45. And another gun was taken from there. So we have three guns taken from the wall. Interesting. Floppy, one of eight of J case has to be submitted formally. Damn, dude. Is my head breaking? My head is actually breaking. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. This is too much. Okay. Somebody died out here. Somebody died in here. Somebody died in there. Somebody died right here. Somebody died right there. Somebody died right there. It's like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six people. 
Six people? What's in this package by the exit? Good question. Wait, there's other stuff in there. There's a good uh, corridors. Light me up. Morning stroll. Buy more drinks from Wellmarts. New medication today. Not like the old stuff I was using. It's got a bit more of a kick to it. I know my doctor told me it likely, uh, told me he likely to likely avoid that this if I'm on anything else. But he said it was a great alternative if I start to notice a dip in the other medicine. It seems to be doing fine. I don't notice any difference just yet, but it gets the job done. My headaches is still there though. Well, I don't get, I don't feel so weird anymore. I think it's good. So far, so good. The headaches are just dull. I think it's just another fine day. The whispering stopped. Thumbs up for this stuff. Oh crap, the whispering. It's only been a week, but I can say that this got the job done just fine. My headaches are still there, but they hardly compare with the normal ones. My trial amount ran out today. I bought some pain reliever to help the layover until I get another bottle in two days. I don't know why they always have to drip feed the amount. I almost collapsed when I finally got this stuff yesterday. It's that's a fast actor, however. Come in a little late though, so I could get worse stuff to quiet down. And now it's completely normal again. I'm stretching a little to make sure I could pay for this next time for this next time because it works 100 percent It is hampering my other expenses, however. Oh no. Almost had an issue. Didn't take one as experiment yesterday. I think even by the end of the day, Baker was a little concerned. Feels good. No issues to report today. You know, I think that the prior medicine was just putting me off. You could tell uh, me green men had taken over the government and I would have bought it. Eee. All good. Had to buy another bottle in the morning. Completely out of money, though. I'm going to have to start a second job or something to help pay for my issues. Oh. Thumbs up again. I can't find the medicine. I left it in my car and now it's gone. I've been doing fine for the most part. I need to find it again at least before my issues crop up again. My headaches have already returned. I just don't want to hear the voices. Oh no. One officer has schizophrenia and the other has a drinking problem. What sort of police force is this? I mean, yeah. Well, ish. It could be schizophrenia, probably schizophrenia. It could be PTSD a development going into. I don't know if PTSD can relate to going into schizophrenia. I don't know if they can connect or not. But yeah, I know. What kind of police force is this? This is like people need. Well, this is a very small town at the same time, too. We need some we need some checkups, man. Harry asked for papers again. Find them. Need new bag of wrappers already out. Morning walk, paper walk, work for the rest of the day. Withdraw from bank before coming to the office. Check with bank in the morning before office. Uh, I'm supplying office donuts today. Use $20 found yesterday. You found $20 yesterday? Nice, dude. Order new belt. Buy new VHS player. Doc says two times. Fridge is empty. Smith, get gift for wedding. 1998 planner. Ain't nothing in it. Ain't nothing in it. Composition book. September, I don't know. What the hell? I forgot my wallet today at home. I couldn't enter the office until Richard opened the door for me. I wish I had him as a partner. He never complains. He's just quite quiet and gets things done. He next to never talks at all. At, he never... He next to never talks at all. Such a weird way to say that. He next to never talks at all. At least I can't remember any time off the top of my head. Harry's quiet, but in a way that makes you worry from time to time, especially when he's really drunk. September 13th. Cannot pay off my rent this month. Need money really soon, like hella soon. Mike doesn't have a kind shred in his heart. Was an ass about lunch uh, the other day, too. The fat tub of lard came in pain, uh, panting today during lunch. I told him to try to use pig insulin instead. He spat at me. I don't really care. He tried to uh, jip me again. I thought him getting offended may might make him think about my situation and how he might be able to relate, but it obviously didn't work. Okay, obviously maybe somebody... What is it? Um, somebody, uh, I think just kind of had a terrible workplace environment too, I guess, right? <clears throat> Richard walked in today. He just stared at my poster for a bit before leaving. Maybe I can talk to him to see if he'll be, if he'll back me up and get our entire office upgraded. 
I've been wanting that gun for a while. I just can't. I can just taste it. Sometimes I... Sometimes broken gun-like fancy features are what I want. Beanbag. Beanbag. Where are you? Tired money speaks. Stiff and tired. Basketball refineries. Good night. What the frick? I'm really sorry. I'm still unable to find the medication. I wrote word salad in the afternoon, it seems. I'm doing better after taking my cocktail of pills. Richard broke his gun. That's why he came in yesterday. I'll ask the chief again if we can get a special order in. I want something like my fancy baby to be standard issue. I wouldn't mind something even crazier like the revolvers that Harry has on his wall. Harry on his wall. But maybe that's going too far. I'm only worried that Harry would get one of these suckers. He's already a kill shot with one of the pea shooters. I got pulled in by the chief today. He asked me about Harry. Seems like they're just doing a general evaluation. I answered pretty casually. They asked if I knew about any evidence going missing recently. I'm able to say confidently that it wasn't Harry. I've only seen him party hard with booze anyways. I now think I'm seeing a unique pattern in the rug. It's helped me clear my head and think about certain people. Still, the medicine is gone and I don't like thinking like this. My headaches are back in full swing. This is insane, dude. It took Harry out of the case. They put Michael Snyder. I hate that man. I cannot accept this. I refuse to even work with him again, and I will force them to realize this. Somebody will understand. He's been cruel in some stuff recently, too. Keep making jokes about issues that others still haven't clued in on. If he makes another one, all of those jokes, I'm going to blow a gasket. I hate him so much, and the position I am in makes me feel like shit. <clears throat> this is crazy, dude. Smith wonders if Mike still has Christmas CD. Nine hours for photo lab. Don't call. Local school. No record for issues with kids. Keep saying hello. Package should come soon. See if Judge V can get back. Legal advice for Harry's inspection. All G uh, Jan or G, G Janny? About order. Dorian High School's number. Can't block him anymore. What the frick? See if Judge V can get back on warrant. Harry can be trusted. Call Valentine about Judge's health. See if tires are all ready. Call Robert to look at. Don't answer calls today. Ask Harry about Jay's case. Harry wants answers yesterday, right? Barbecue next week. Oh my god. Smith says we need to call back. Open today. Meet with Philip at 11-ish with Piggy. Smith says hello. Get warrant for market on the 4th street. Call state to request files for case 12218. They're open between 9 and 5 right now. Meet with Susan at 6-ish. Rich will be there to intro proper. My god. Chicken Palace opened up. Invite Richard. Uh, Thipodime? Thipodime? Treatment. Schizophrenia. There you go. Um... Plumbers and medication of using Thipidime to treat late onset schizophrenia. Please get consolation from your healthcare provider. Patients that don't take proper care uh, to take as requested may feel side effects that are unexpected and may be dangerous. Active ingredient in each purpose used temporarily reduces active symptoms to, lo to a level where the symptoms are manageable. Used for psychotic depression, psychotic depression, and late onset schizophrenia. <clears throat> take a pill. Every 10 to 12 hours, consume any additional cup of water at minimum in the case of professional requesting ad additional dosage. Very well. So, schizophrenia. Confirm. Average drowning time. What the frick? There's a new sheriff in town. A new 40. Beacon 40. This is, a, this is a 1998, huh? That's true. Keep the road safe. Whose office is this? Nine millimeter box? Not a nine millimeter. Planner. Check over file of reports about case gun range. Meet with new witnesses for case number two. Report about meeting yesterday and meeting today lunch. Oh, wait. Open office in the morning with Mike. Okay. Shopping for office. Quest new firearm. Turn keys over to Nakamura. Mura. Meet with Carl Tristan. Mike's gonna join in a little late. 
Meet with Chief to observe Harry. Report about meeting yesterday and meeting today. Meeting with Chief, likely about recent issues and new employees. Some small dinner with Nakamura and Susan. So wait a sec. Who was this guy? What was this guy's name? Did we figure out this guy's name? Henry. No, wait, that's Doctor. Does it say who it's prescribed to? It doesn't say who it's prescribed to, does it? Interesting. One pill every 10 to 12 hours. <sighs> so he has a gun that isn't standard issue. <clears throat> I think maybe package was the medicine. Hmm. What's in the package by the door? Is it th here? Did I miss the package by the door? This one? Oh. Void contraband. Aisle proper. Press shipping. Oh, this is this a gun, yeah? Due to current state and county policies, we're sorry to inform you that the package was not permitted to be sent out. Is this a gun? A broken gun? I think so. Right? That only makes sense. Hello, Miriam. How are you? Welcome in. Hello, Digger Payne. How are you? Oh, wait. Michael Mike Snyder? <gasps> oh, Richard Dick Bolts. Aaron Nakamura. Nakamura. Hi. Who is this? Harry, senior detective. So the one who's having these issues is Nakamura. Aaron Nakamura. Alrighty, okay. Hmm. Then three hundred dollars to repair shop. Buy what the hell? Oval tea? Oval tree? Oval tree? Oval tea? Cleaning gun? Disassembly. Um I think we now kind of understand who might have had a incident here. Judge K's new assistant, Rachel, pudgy sounding. What? Call person of interest number three, nine, and two for Frank's case. Grady is escorting Phil. Grady about serving. Strict regulations on be on meet between Jenny and Ben about Judy. She's asking for me to look into the Payne's Creek. Receive docs from the guard. Need proper procedure. Ain't Taylor Martin. Player needs bank call. I think these are all just kind of like vanilla text. Kind of like throw a lot of information at you. I feel like statement from the hoodie kid. I think we let's look at our questions. What is in the package at the exit? Was the gun the killer using standard issue? I don't think so. I don't think it was. Right? Because they haven't gotten it in yet. So, no. Who died by the office doorway? I would have to... I don't know, actually. Okay, let's look into this. So, we have one there. One over here. One there. One... That doesn't look like a gunshot, though. Um... That does. That does. That person came out of the chair. Oh, hello. Unlock office, open, water fern, take a morning walk, gun range, meet with Miss Tebby's. Interesting. They might not have all been murdered. I thought that said Sergeant Daddy for a second. Uh, Cat Daddy, more or less. Lunch with Jimmy and Dick. Lunch with Dick. No Jimmy today. Okay. Lunch with Jimmy, he's paying. Okay. Any more evidence in here? This is a tough one, dude. The evidence is sufficient. Okay. Out of order. Very well. I really don't know what kind of wh which way they're going with this here. I mean, we have an idea, right? There's a bullet right there. 
right? We have a we have an I, I, idea. <clears throat> he opens the office. And knock. Wait, what's his name? What's his first name? Darren. Darren opens the office. Yeah. This is a planner. Somebody else has it written it down, probably, right? Probably. It said, Water Fern, does anyone have a plant in their booth? Good question. Good question. Not that I'm seeing. Not that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any ferns. Unless I totally look over it. Looked over it. Richard Nicholas. Okay. Oh. Well. Hang on a sec. What is this? A screwdriver? What the frick? Why is there a screwdriver in here? Okay. Screwdriver. Or a flathead. Amy. What uh, missing evidence? Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Missing evidence? I think we found the missing evidence. They were using this to open this. Nobody took the. Okay, this is so sh bizarre. The drugs. Yes, the drugs. Okay. Who was the dirty cop? So there's a dirty cop. How many people were murdered? Was Harry Baker in a reasonable state of mind? Yes or no? Harry Baker. Um. Yes? He's not the schizophrenic one. Which prisoner was in interrogation room number one? Harry was the dirty cop. Let me just double check here. Michael. Dick. Harry over here. Harry Baker. Super direct uh, detective. I could see it. Yeah. Who was the dirty cop? Harry. Who died by the office doorway in a fetal position? I, I honestly could not tell you. So we have that. How many people were murdered? I mean, unless you say one, two, three, four, if you count that. Five, six, six people, six. I think the Harry, that Harry died by the office door. I think Harry died by the office door. And this was Harry. Do you think? Do you think? Uh, do you think Darren did this then? This is a tough one. Four murders, and Carl was in interview room two. If I worked it out right, and Harry wasn't the dirty cop. Four murders. What about the other two? Wait, what, what room is this? This is number two? This is interrogation number one. This is interrogation number two. So we got to figure out who was in number one, too, right? Hmm. Fourth may have had an overdose or stroke. This one. Interesting. So interesting here, isn't it? So maybe... Uh, this is tough. Which prisoner was in interrogation room number one? Let's see if we can figure that out. Yeah. We have to see that. Oops. I got my alarms going off. There's bullet holes right here too. Bullet holes everywhere. Okay. Wait a sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does any of these say... This had to have been the gun he was working on, maybe? 
Does anything say about like a planner? Like, oh, we need to go do and talk to X. He was the one drinking, right? Yeah, he was the one drinking. Harry was the one drinking. I need to go to the bar. He's the drinker, right? Only direct evidence of for now. Mom's name's Jasmine. Google says call back tomorrow. Plane leaves tomorrow, get plane ticket. Miss Jose still won't send flowers. Mom isn't talking. Call the mother. Bigger object and sneak it inside that. See if Jim and Postal can get the package to slip in. This is tough. One cop was said to be aggressive, which I believe is Harry, right? I believe it's Harry that might have been the uh, uh, the aggressive one, I think. If I'm like kind of doing this in my head. Yeah. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Good to see you. Needs to be clean so Harry was in his right mind. Harry was in his right mind. Harry was in a state of mind. Yes, he was in a reasonable state of mind, yeah? You can go with that. I don't know anything about law, but if the killer is one of those bodies, it would be considered murdered or self-defense. It would be a murder-suicide. Is what it would be. Nakamura is aggressive. I mean, yeah, I guess in, in the sense of... Yeah, I guess you're right. He is aggressive because he talked about... They talked about... Uh, him... him hurting potentially hurting putting bruises on these people so yeah i think you're right darren is the aggress aggressive one yeah i think you're right about that See if we could find out planner oh shoot Alcoholism. An addiction to the consumption of alcohol, liquor, or the mental illness and compulsive behavior resulting from alcohol dependency. This must be properly observed for a set amount of time before action may be against, may be used against the offending officer. Damn. So they were reading the laws on it. Behind the badge. Nevada State has selected our very own Richard Boltz as the Highway Patrol of the Year. We're overjoyed. Uh, hang on a sec. We're overjoyed that the city of Brindler has been able to rise against and claim two of the three annual awards that our state hands out. Richard Boltz was hired as a cadet after graduating a rigorous civilian course back in the summer of 1973. It was noted as the quickest in his class and as the one with the most leadership potential by the instructor. During his four and a half years of service, he has been noted to work as part of patrol and criminal investigation before just last year joining State Highway Patrol. In a small interview with our paper, Officer Boltz has noted his diligent or delight in being given the prestigious award. I would like to thank my wife, my chief, and the state for being able to give me the courage and fortitude to do my job. We hope Officer Boltz has the best, uh, the best we can, and we can rest assured that the roads around Brindler are safer with him protecting us next week, and we'll be covering Brindler's office, others officer of the year, Officer Catherine Page. He had the drinking problem, right? Meet with the new witness for case number two. Now I'm hoping he's talk about interviews. All witness number three. Meet up with the observe Harry relinquish equipment. Report about meeting yesterday. Meeting with the chief likely about recent issues and new employees. Small dinner. That really didn't tell us much. Now did it. I think Snyder was the aggressive one. Is this who it is? No. Michael Snyder? Mike Snyder was the uh, aggressive one? Holy hell. Snyder was the more aggressive one. Carl Tristan could be a witness.
The only reason why I say um, uh, Darren is because get Dick to make coffee for guests from now on. Okay. The only reason why I say Darren is because the other officer is like, oh, uh, you know, he uh, might have roughed him up or not. I don't know. I wasn't there. Therapist for Kevin cannot answer under oath. Interesting. Rose wants to be ch ch chunky rat. You might be right. This guy does might have a friggin' temper. And he want chef outfit. What the frick? Jonathan wants doctor's outfit for Halloween. There is birthday next month. Do not forget. Buy more red pens and markers. What the hell? Who is hiding the drugs? I got a mini fridge, dude. Nice. Have we read this? No, I don't think we have. Baker just broke his two month separation from booze. Uh, drank through most of the fridge the other day. He gave me a bottle as long as I kept him company. I was glad enough to do so. I think Clara would like him. Uh, but he's too offensive to have around the kids. Hand that new folder to Dick tomorrow. He's authorizing something for case two. Sounds like we have someone who's coming in to talk. No, have enough money on the side now to buy Clara that nice dress. Baker keeps laughing each time I ask the guys to grab donuts. I think it's I think his frustration is starting to bleed through. His last case hasn't had a breakthrough because Naka keeps dragging his feet, and since Baker himself is actually forced to stay in here. Grab Carl Tristan for questioning from NLSJ. We may have had a break. Bits of evidence that should have been brought forward a decade ago. Also, don't trust Nakamura until you know that he actually has his wallet on him. He keeps muttering how it's not his fault when he's asking for something that cannot that he cannot pay for. I'm not a charity. Sometimes we fail the right we fail the right people. Looking at the stuff we have, Tristan should be a free man. He's been left behind and almost lost a decade and a half of his life. Just poof, gone. We're going to try and get somebody above to hear us out. It'll take time, but he can handle it. He's a tough soul. It's now $50 for the entire package, and it's not like there's much in there in the first place. The thing is always light as damn feather. Disgusting, shitty, slimy, shady. They know I need it, and they're going to ride me for every penny. This isn't something recreational for crying out loud. My life actually depends on this. I had a good la laugh when I went with Baker and Nakamura for lunch. Baker barely smiled, but I think he liked being out of the office. Nakamura just noticed a lot. Uh, acts like he can actually follow a discussion. Stupid moron, like a dog or something. I made him pay for the lunch. I ain't paying E after he stiffed me last week. I went shooting with Dick today. His standard carry broke. If only I could get the security video feed for that, I'd be pestering him about requesting a new one the other week. I think I'll be able to have a good rapport with Phil. Seems like he's grown in the area. He was arrested with our team's hockey jersey on, but also like 30 pounds of marijuana. Seems to be a decent guy from his wife and brother's statements. Just down on his luck. He's also using a little of what he was dealing. That's rule number one. Don't touch what you sell. It always makes things harder. But at least I have a few jokes that I think he'll be able to laugh at. I just have to make sure Nakamura doesn't screw with this. He needs to keep quiet when I'm trying to connect with Phil. We're not doing any sort of act. We're keeping everything straight. Snyder? Snyder? Was this Carl? Carl Tristan? Harry died by the doorway for sure? Starting to make sense now. What was in the package? That... Okay, so I missed that journal. That journal... Um... That journal said a lot. Let's be honest. <laughs> that journal said quite a bit. Um, 
I don't know how I missed that journal. Yeah. We for sure. So, so far we have gun. Was the killer, was the gun the killer using standard issue? We said no. Who died by the office doorway? Harry. Who was the dirty cop? Snyder. How many people were murdered? Six. Was Harry Baker in a reasonable state of mind? Yes or no? We said yes. Which prisoner was in the interrogation room? One. Submit. How do we do? Well done. You've passed. Four out of seven. Time. We are three are wrong. We have three wrong in that questionnaire. Congratulations. You are now an official licensed investigator. <laughs> it makes me want to invest in 3M. <laughs> Hilarious. How was this? How was the exam? But uh, hard. Now that it's over, how do you feel? I want to do it again. Glad it's over. Now that you've completed the exam, feel free to revisit any case file to improve your overall grade. Having said that, welcome. I guess I could check. Yeah, I could check this standard issue. I I think nine millimeter wasn't. Uh, it is not. Um standard issue so they might be using or nine millimeter is what the hell is happening oh god i mean the credits roll roll the credits right thank you all right i'll get back to that case in a sec i think this game's going to be releasing more content too there is like a locked like coming soon type thing as well but um I think you're right. I think the casings were nine millimeter and I don't think that was standard issue or that was standard issue maybe at the time. They're wanting new guns in 1998. I think this was, was in 1998. I don't know when nine millimeter guns were put into standard issue. They were standard issue, you think? I, 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 swords in the package. The gun was standard, standard edition. Changing the yes or no questions might be the fastest way to identify the wrong answers. I think you're right. Hello, Zoe. How are you? I wish I could skip this. I would definitely skip this if I could, even though this team did a wonderful job. I really, I think my favorite case was the missing report case. How much is this game? Um, let me see. Oh, uh, we wait. Forgot. Uh, I think it's twenty-five dollars. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, twenty-four ninety-nine. And I believe they're going to be adding more stuff. And if you want to, you can play this game for free for the demo, and do that. Someone had a cover to full nine millimeter. That's true. I think it was a standard issue. Can't see them being able to store non-standard ammo in the office. I agree. Even though I think there was a notice saying, I think one of the first things we read was like the chief said it's okay to keep your uh, firearms with you, at least your uh, handheld, and not have like your rifles or shotguns with you. Oh, are you having a good time with Agatha Christie? Did you end up getting it? Yeah. I think that Harry was in a reasonable state of mind. I think now, well, there's crowdfunding. Oh, wow. I didn't know there was, this was kickstarted. Um, I think now, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think now looking back at it, uh, Harry was in a reasonable state of mind. I had no idea this was kickstarted. Cool. Really cool. Oh, baby. You're enjoying Agatha. That's awesome. Duckers, Aggie Noodle Arms, some of these names, Smokey Joe, Squid, Miss Bean, um, there's a lot of backers, wow, hey, subscriber, holy crap, thanks for subscribing, Mavis, appreciate that, thank you very much. There's a ton of backers. I didn't know this game was had a very big following. Boo, the miniature giant space hamster. Okay. <laughs> cool. You also don't think everyone was murdered. I guess everybody but one, right? 
everybody but one so five maybe they did another game called pangs creek killings let me see this i gotta see this pangs oh i see <laughs> oh wow they did this a long time ago almost six years ago That's pretty cool. Oh, it's like $5. Interesting. Did they do any more? Let's see. Did they do any more games? Those are the two games. Yeah, those are the two games. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. One was knocked out. Well, if somebody was knocked out, why would they put a, a chalk around them, right? You don't put chalk around somebody knocked out, no? Uh, let's see here. Officer Cans on duty. Welcome back, Officer Cans. See, there's like a question mark here, so I'm assuming there's going to be more in the future. Loading blood I think the outline was used to indicate a body found there, but not necessarily dead. Really? Really? I always thought there was like, I thought it was always dead bodies. Okay, so let's see here. Um, wait, we said Harry was in a, in a state of mind. Yeah, that's what we put. We put Harry was in a, in a, in a reasonable state of mind, right? Um, Carl Tristan was the prisoner. Five people were murdered? Instead, hello, Jim. How are you? What's going on? Oh, I didn't know they actually actually marked all bodies. So what do you do? You wait a sec. So wait a sec. When someone's knocked out unconscious, they chalk the body before they wait a sec. What? <laughs> You're telling me they chalk the body before they put EMS and take them to the hospital? Wait a sec. What? What if they had a heart attack? That's not a murder. That's true. You're true about that. Okay. Now, now, okay. You make sense there. Um, so there's blood, 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 no blood. 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 What do we see here? Five? 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 Four? Four, five? Was the gun the killer using standard issue? Yes, I switched that. So I switched that answer. I switched this answer. Those are the only two answers I've switched. Four? How was it four? The guy who was shooting could have shot himself. That's true. Okay. Can I open the other do door in the interrogation room? No, I can't open the other doors. Um, okay, yeah. True. I, it, interesting how this person might have passed. I don't know how this person would, would, would have passed. Maybe. Maybe this guy... Whoever this was got pissed off at this guy. He choked him out. They saw. Came in. Boom. No, that doesn't make sense. Now, does it? I don't buy the knockout, though. I don't buy the knockout. But I'll play with it. But I don't buy it. So we've only changed two answers. We've changed the issue standard, standard issue. 
we've changed the number of people murdered. That's all we've done. We need one more changed answer. Maybe the cup was poisoned? What the frick? Maybe. Where's Gibbs when you need him? Facts. If I were to assume... I don't know. I don't even know which one would be the killer. If it was. Like, who would be... Even if it was, like, a, let's just say, like, a, sur a, a murder-suicide, who would be the killer in this case? Him? Probably him, right? Him. He would be the killer. Is it a sword in the package? That's three answers. We can submit that. I guess he's the killer. Right? That's the only logical thing I can pick up out of this. It's not going to be that guy. Because they had to, like, walk that way. Wait a sec. Bullets. Wait a sec. The sh shots came from in here. Or some shots came from in here. Somebody shot that way. Somebody shot that way. Somebody shot that way. Red X Kyle Cropper From Harry Baker Harry sent this Voided contraband Cannot send without Appropriate papers So Harry sent this Or was sending this Right They should put a little Animation at the end of the scene See if you get all the questions correct That would be pretty sick but who's Kyle? Great question. I'm going to submit these answers. We'll see what we got right here. I hope I don't have to go through the credits again. Oh, good God. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good job, everybody. Who's Kyle? F Kyle. We don't know who Kyle is. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Whose death do you think is the most tragic? Ooh, good question. Good question. Good question. Um, don't say GG to me. I didn't do this. Chat did this. I did nothing. I just typed in the answers. GG to chat, not me. Harry. Hooray! We did a, all of the investigations. I still think the missing case was my favorite. 100%. The missing case was my favorite. There is so much emotion in that one. So much. I think that, that really started out. But that's going to do it in today's Scene Investigators. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button and all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed Scene Investigators, the game. If there is an update later in the future, maybe I'll come back to this game and we'll take a look at it again. I want to say a special thank you to Amber for the massive gifted memberships. Thank you for handing out 20 gifted memberships that was very very generous and very kind of you indeed and uh very sweet and uh, we all appreciate that i see a lot of new people that got their first ever membership there too as well so yeah with that being said if you enjoyed hit the like button thank you for the people that subscribed today and all that um we will be, be back hopefully with another stream today with i am your judge um let me actually see hang on let me let me double check before we leave here we should be back with another stream of I am your judge that was going to be our first stream today but it couldn't because they didn't update the game like they were going to but now it is updated so season two is here the update is here for I am your judge so we will be playing this here shortly I say we'll be diving into this at around 2 15 ish so yes I will be back live here in less than an hour and we'll be playing the second season season two the new update for you are the judge sorry you are the judge we'll be getting that going on too all right so thank you I will see you soon and if I don't see you soon then I hope you have a wonderful 
uh, rest of your Monday. And if I don't see you for Halloween, then I hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween. Very well. Take care. She said we better of his best friends. Ooh, what's the best friend? Can't let me know what I'm